Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about finding the perfect red lipstick for all the weddings you've got to attend if you are a bride or bride sister, bride's mother or any guest in a particular Indian wedding or you are uh, excited for celebrating Christmas and the holidays then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 uh, red lipsticks. This includes uh, 8 lipsticks and 2 lip liners that could pair with your perfect red lip. Uh, in this video, I'm also going to be showing your arm swatches and lip swatches and how they apply on my lips and what the formula of the lipsticks are. So if you want to know which is the perfect red lip that is going to suit you, then keep on watching. The first lip shade that I want to talk to you guys about is the one I am wearing on my lips right now. It's the Smashbox liquid, Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boss. This is how it looks. Now if you may know Lady Singh her on now. YouTube, this is her collaboration with Smashbox. Now the best part about this lipstick is that it is a liquid lipstick and which is going to stay on for a really long while. Again, it is a matte formula and doesn't dry out my lips at all. One great advantage of this particular lipstick is that it makes your teeth look white which is an added benefit. So that was my first one. The next red lipstick I want to talk to you guys about is this NYX Super Clicky uh, Matte Lipstick in the shade Wrist Takeoff. This is how it looks in its packaging and on my lips. Now this is a super comfortable matte and it dries down super matte and it is a little on the burnt red side. Next uh, lipstick I want to talk to you guys about is this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Kitten Heels. This is how it looks. Now this is a bang in your face red lipstick and I will show you how it looks on my lips. You have to be very careful while applying this because it is a liquid lipstick that will dry down matte. This is how kitten heels looks on my lips. Moving along, I have three shades of MAC lipsticks that I'm going to be sharing with you. Now MAC itself has a ton of red lipstick shades and if you are wondering which one do you want to get, this is a good way to find out which uh, shade that you may like. The first one I'm going to try is your ever so cult classic Ruby Woo. Um, this is how it looks in the packaging. Now this is a retro matte formula that is it, it is drying on your lips and it does take a while to apply. So I would recommend that you apply a lip balm before applying this particular lipstick. And I will show you how it looks on my lips. I'm quickly applying a lip balm before I apply Ruby Woo because it is drying. Don't apply too much lip balm otherwise you may not be able to see the retro matte finish or just dab some lip balm and you should be good to go. So Ruby Woo. So 
so this is how Rubio looks on my lips. The next matte lip shade that I want to show you all is uh, Lady Danger. Now this is a orangey red and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I think you should because I've done a look on Marvel's Mrs. Maisel if you watch that show. And this is the lipstick I was wearing uh, to recreate that look. So stay tuned to see how it looks on my lips me on Instagram and the uh, link is given below. The best part about matte lipsticks is that they are super easy to remove on, unlike Smashbox and NYX. Lady Ranger is a matte formula so it is going to stay through the whole event if you're going to be outside for eight to nine hours. So this is the lipstick that you may want to try. And this is how Lady Danger looks on my lips. How do you like it? Last but not the least MAC uh, lip shade I wanted to show y'all is Lady Bug. Now not a lot of people talk about this particular lipstick or another lip formula because it is a luster uh, formula. Now what luster is, is is a lot like a glossy formula so it is not going to stay on for say 5 to 8 hours and if you are looking to wear it for a prolonged period of time I wouldn't um, recommend this but some of you out there who might not be wanting uh, to wear a matte lipstick this is a good try like this is, this lipstick could be a good try for you guys the best part about the luster matte formulas is that you don't need to apply any lip balm or anything of that sort you need you can just apply it This is how Ladybug looks. Uh, it has a little bit of sheen to it, which I don't think is a bad idea because everybody tends to wear matte lipsticks and you could do something different and try all the rest of formula. So this is Ladybug for you. The next shade I wanted to show you all is very close to my heart. This is the Dior Triple Nine lipstick. Now this is the lipstick I've been wanting for a really long time and I picked it up at a duty free shop. Uh, this particular lipstick is a blue toned lipstick which is going to suit all skin tones. Now I'm not saying that you need to go and buy like a very high end lipstick but if you are one of them who wants to try out Dior's lipsticks and I know not a lot of people in India do that so if you want to see how it looks then keep on watching so the Dior 999 is again a matte formula which is going to stay on for a long time now this is not like matte review which is super matte this is a comfortable matte and you should be able to wear it for 4 hours at least This is how Dior looks on me. Last lipstick that I want to show you all is again a liquid lipstick formula which is Makeup Forever in the shade 403. The Makeup Forever shade is a little dark and again because it's a liquid lipstick just be careful while applying it. This is how Makeup Forever looks on my lips. It dries down super matte but it is not 
crying at all and i have used this out, outdoors as well and it performs phenomenally also the makeup for that body the lipstick is transparent so one more plus point uh, lastly i wanted to show you all two uh, lip liners now uh, lip liners are essential because when you're applying liquid lipsticks a, a few lipsticks might bleed so you may want to line them sometimes what i do is apply lip liner on all of my lips and then i apply the liquid lipstick or sometimes i just apply lip liners on its own the first one i wanted to share with you all is the nika nika lips don't lie in the shade of head over heels it's an orangey lip liner which pairs very well with orange ranger and i will just show you how it looks on my lips With lip liners, what you're going to do is not from your cupid's bow, overline your lips and then fill it in. So I'm just doing a first cross on my top lip. And just fill it in. This is how head over heels looks. When applied fully, you can apply Lady Nature on top of this, or if you want, you can just play outside with this lip. Lastly, I just wanted to show you one true tone red lip liner that you may want to pair with all your red lipsticks that you have, and this is the Color Bar lip liner. Again, start from your cupid's bow, outline your lips, and then fill it in. This is how clear it looks on my lips. I hope this video helps you all in picking the lip shade that you were looking for for this wedding season or any Christmas parties or New Year's parties you want to attend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Also, hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.